I don't even want to know what that joke meant. A day's journeying from Daventry has found you by the shores of Kalima. Your ship, the Grand Thethor, and its crew have deposited you and will return the day after tomorrow. Hopefully this will give you enough time to locate and release the imprisoned woman you saw in the magic mirror. Hello everyone that is listening to this uh, YouTube. Guys and girls, welcome to my first episode of my new Let's Play of King's Quest to Redux. Kinda like the first one I made, this is not the original game of King Quest 2. This is a remake, but a bit differently than the last one. This is not just a regular remake. The whole game of King Quest 2 got remade redesigned. They redid the puzzles, they redid the the graphics, they redid the story, they redid everything. The base of the game is still there. And I never finished any of this. I never finished the Redux, I never finished the original game, or anything. So this will be an interesting experience for both of us, or thrice of us, or how, uh, how many people are listening, whatever. All of you. Yes, I'm talking about you. This will be an interesting experience. And I hope will not fail too much. So this is an interesting story. I'm going to start by saving my game. As I usually do. There you go. This is an interesting story in which... Unlike the last one, where you had to seek out three treasures to save the kingdom. In this, we adventure to a different area of the world of King's Quest. This is a land of Kalima, and we have to rescue a princess that is held captive into a tower in the middle of the forest. And we have no idea how to get there or what to do to do that. But we have two days until the ship come back, I think they said. So we better have to get going. What is the first thing that an adventurer just do? They explore. So let's start exploring. With the walk icon, I can move around. So I'm going to walk around and see what's up with this. Oh, this is interesting. There is a beach here. The graphics of these games are amazing, by the way. Still my favorite type of graphics for adventure games, VGA. Where should we go? Let's go... I believe we cannot go far in the water. These games are kind of like that. If you go too far in the water, you'll probably die. So let me see what happens. Can we swim? Yes, we can. A sturdy wooden pier stretches a short distance from the shoreline and ends here. Either the carpenters ran out of wood or decided that this was as far as it needed to go. Interesting. Each day, the sky changes from sapphire to midnight blue and back again. The world is full of such marvels people so often take for granted. Some crates have been unloaded at the end of the pier. You do not know where they came from, except certainly not from your vessel. The labels are in a foreign language you don't understand. I should get that when I get back on the pier. A length of rope lies next to the crates at the end of the pier. I should get that too. What is this? A net has been caught around one of the pier's pylons. In games like this, it's really useful to take everything you find because they might be useful later. So I'm gonna take this. You I need believe. to swim closer to the net. Can I? You untangle the net from the pylon and take it with you. Yay! Mechadeb Rapananaidam! I'm so powerful! Woohoo! Let's go back. 
before sharks attack us or something. Oh yeah, and, all, and also, known fact in these games, everything is evil. Getting ourselves killed is really common, which is why we save the game so often. So, we got something. We got even some score for it, the item we just got. Let's look at that. Oh, we have two items. This is the sword of the first king of Daventry. It dates back almost 1,000 years and has been passed down from king to king since that time. Try not to damage it. A magnificent clear crystal is in... I should probably not lose that, I'm guessing. Okay, let's, let's look at this. The fishing net is fashioned from a material that is unfamiliar to you. It is well made. We could catch some fish if we need to eat. But I'm guessing that's not really a concern in these games. Why am I saving? I just saved a minute ago! Oh yeah, the crates. The crates do not interest you. Besides, they are not yours to take. What about the rope? The rope is old, worn, and weathered. It would be of no use to you. Graham, you pick up some leaves you find the ground, but you do not want to pick up a rope. Okay. Whatever. We did our duty here, let's explore. What's up there? Each day the sky- No, I don't want to look at the sky again. That way. Each day, each day, the sand on the beach glitters. The azure water of the ocean laps up to its edge. An assortment of trees grow here, and a quaint little pier occupies the shoreline. We're not here to take a vacation, we better get going. The leaning palm trees sway in the ocean breeze. Can I climb it? There are nothing but green coconuts in the palm trees, and the trees are too slippery to climb. As I was guessing. Where should we go? North or south? Let's go north. Since I can see what's up that way. Ooh, this is it. This is getting interesting. A fence. A picket fence extends onto the beach a short way. The row of pickets here have been disturbed by the event of the large tree growing in their place. Oh, there seems to be a piece that fell out. The sand from the sand. No, piece. One of the pickets has fallen loose yeah. from the rickety fence. I think it can take that. The fallen picket feels reasonably sturdy and is pointed at one end. Believing that you may find a use for it, you retrieve it and carry it with you. Obviously, you take everything. Uh -huh. The sand from the beach glitters. The azure water of the ocean laps up to its edge. There is a large rock in the ocean a short way from shore. Small waves lap at the edges. I believe we have done everything we had to do here. Let's continue to, do, to go north. Keeping on exploring. Oh, yeah. Exploring is my life. Nothing interesting here, it seems. The steep embankment prohibits you from traveling safely to the west. There are some plants growing around this rock. A group of rocks jut out of the ground. Their pointed shapes discourage their use as a place to sit. I believe this will kill me, but I'm just curious. What happens if you fall in the water? The undercurrent pulls you under and drags you far out to sea. You have a quiet funeral, attended by all your new carnivorous friends. Wow, they really ameliorated the music when you die from the last game. I like it. Continuing to go north. This seems to be a kind of sort of forest. Many trees shade your way as you journey through Kalima. This is like a paradise. We should live here. Freaking Davin tree, let's become the king of this place. There are many bushes and shrubs among the trees. Oh yeah, I'm here to get something for Davin tree. Well, forget it then.
back to the beach. You notice a log lying on the beach. There is probably a reason why. Let's see what's up with that. You look under the log and discover a clam lying beneath it. You pick it up. Oh, I found a clam. Oh, that is good. Is there a pearl in it? This is just an ordinary clam shell. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. You open the clam and oh discover, gosh, to your surprise, that. a dazzling pearl. Wow. Okay, I was kind of joking, but that is cool. We have a pearl. I wonder what we can do with that. There seems to be a way of going... The rock formations are really interesting. I want to see if you can go north the maximum of the map. Oh, I believe this is the maximum. I'm guessing. Let's start to go east then, since we cannot go west. Wait, can we swim around these rocks? I wonder. A tall cliff blocks further passage in this direction. It stretches down the coast as far as the eye can see. We cannot. That's the map limit. No more going north. Ooh, this is dark. The atmosphere of this place doesn't tell me so good. And there are flies flying. This looks like a swamp. A few plants grow in this area. The ones closer to the swamp do not seem as healthy. This doesn't look too good. Kind of reminds me of the dark forest where the witch is. Is there a witch resid residing here? Hello? I I'm Sir Graham from Deventry. Anyone here? Um, cannot go north. Okay, then. Let's go this way. Oh, this doesn't seem so good. This is so dark, I can barely see with the light on my screen. The music is not too good. Let, let's, let's say it for safety. Large, gnarled trees spiral up from the ground. Nothing should be growing here. The fact that various plants do indicates there's a strong, magical energy permeating this place. What this? This is a dreary, oppressive swamp. Everything here seems to be growing near foul-smelling water. Very little light manages to filter in through the thick, canopy-like leaves from above. This is a really, really thick forest. Let's try to go this way. You feel the poisonous water seeping into your skin. Its potency takes effect immediately, and you perish within seconds. Okay. Well, yeah, we cannot... Water is dangerous, guys. It's official. Water is poisonous. Lesson you one. Let's... Let's not go to the swamp. Ooh. Okay. I think I have... As you near the cave, the bat symbol above the entrance starts radiating an ominous black glow. <sighs> Okay. Uh, I th think I have seen this in a dream. Like, when we had the vision at the beginning of the game and the introduction, seeing the witch. I believe this was the place. 
Shall we take a peek inside? I'm too curious. I can't help it. Let's see. You saw black glow. You did not slow. Turned not away. You've had your day. No. Bad witch. Bad cave. Let's not go there. Maybe it's a witch from the previous game taking revenge on me. No. No, I killed her. I don't think that's possible. More forest. This is the other side of the witch place. The rear of a cave dominates this area. To the east, the darker expanse of Weirwood Forest begins. Oh, this has a name. That's nice. Weir Weirwood Forest. Weirwood Forest. Okay. A log lies on the ground, apparently forgotten by whoever cut it from the nearby stump. You look under the log, but find nothing. It was a good idea, though. Thanks, thanks a lot for your... For your pity for my misery, narrator. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it with all my... Heart, if there is one. This looks nice. Finally, something that looks a bit friendly. The beautiful blue lake has a clear and pristine quality. The beautiful blue... A small area of land rises high enough to remain above the surface of the lake. A small... There is not a great deal to do with a tiny island. There is nothing to do with it, actually. Well, now that you say it, I don't really think I want to try to do something with it. Oh, yeah. You just glitched. Oh, wait. Is this the same fence? Yeah, this is the same fence. It is a mailbox. This is the first time you have ever set eyes upon one, which isn't surprising. The postal system won't be invented for another few centuries to come. The residents of this land must either possess clairvoyance or just simply be ahead of their time. <laughs> uh, you still have swords, but you have mailboxes. That's awesome. You open the mailbox. Inside, there is, incredibly, a letter addressed to the resident. You decide to leave it in there. A card has been dropped in it also. You read it. Have you been missing church church services lately? How long a while since your last confession? There is still time yet to repent your sins before the final hour. Come to the church of Kalima to pray from your own salvation or just make a donation. Put your faith back into the church and walk the path that has been laid down before you. Hours from dusk till dawn. You replace the card and close the mailbox. A church. Well, there seems to be people living in this kingdom. Really surprising. Is there someone at home? The roof looks weather-worn, but still leak-free. The windows are spotless. The quaint cottage is, for the most part, well-managed and orderly. Someone has obviously put a lot of effort into its upkeep. You feel that you might be welcome here. Well, let's go in, then. You attempt to open the door, but find it is locked. You think you can hear the sound of labored breathing inside, and decide against causing any further disturbance. Should we? Maybe. Brandishing your sword might make you appear an accomplished fighter, but you will not make many friends by being careless with it. Besides, it's valuable. Take care of it. 
But I want to open the door with it. You're no fun. Come on. Can we use a peer? A stab in the dark. A stab in the light. Same effect. You might not attend church as religiously as your title requires, but that hardly means you are unholy. I don't even want to know what that joke meant. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay, um... Fine. Mm, people who live in the house doesn't want me there. Okay, I see how it is. Let's go elsewhere. Oh, a path. When I see a path in the middle of a dark forest, my instinct tells me don't follow it. But it's a path. But there's always a trap at the end of paths in these games. It continues in the forest. Wait, is that a path too? No, that's just a log. Let's continue to follow the path then. Oh, we're getting closer. This was in the dreams vision too. In the mirror, we saw these trees. I believe we're getting closer to our goal. We also saw three lights on a rock. Blue, red, and green. The same lights that we saw in the main menu of the game. I wonder when we'll find something relating to that. We take an orange or whatever tree is this. What, what kind of fruit is this? A large lemon tree grows by the path. It's lemon. Okay, lemons. Can we take out a lemon? The lemons on the ground are spoiled. You would do best to pick a fresh one from the nearby tree. Let's do that. Let's do it. You reach out and pluck a large, juicy looking lemon from the tree. Woohoo! Five points of 185. Oh, yeah, we're going to finish this. I don't know how many episodes it'll take, though. <laughs> uh, the road is still going, man. Where will this lead us? To town! There's people! Let's go! I want to see signs of someone actually living here. I'm not the only one in this world. Is that amazing? Walking in the forest. Oh, there's a town. Kalima, it says. Is a town named Kalima? Let's save. I don't know who might be living in this dreadful place. It is likely that this haystack was piled here by farmers from the town. A faded blue sheet has been tightly stretched across it to prevent the straw from blowing away in the wind. Let's take some straw. Hey! What the what? heck? Who said that? I did! Huh? That helps. I'm down here, in the hay! Oh. Well, who are you? My name is... Uh... Um... Yes? Hmm. I can't seem to remember. <laughs> well then, what are you? Oh, I'm a... Um... Uh... Yes? Hmm. Can't seem to remember that either. Well, what are you doing in this haystack? That's easy. I was looking for... Oh. Um... You can't remember? No. Sorry. How long have you been in there? Let's see. <laughs> it couldn't be longer than... Uh... She doesn't... Yes? Three? Maybe four weeks? Okay, he remembers that. Weeks? Yep. 
pardon me for saying, but you sound as if you have a bit of a cold. Yes. It's all this hay. It's giving me hay fever. I think I officially m met the strangest person I've <laughs> ever did. Wow. So suspicious. <laughs> Stop the chilling! Oh my gosh. <sighs> A sturdy wall helps prevent undesirables from intruding during the night. You suspect Kalima may be somewhat more dangerous after dark. This stylized symbol positioned above the entrance represents the township of Kalima. Yeah, you just complimented my sentence. Wonderful. You can't see too much of it from here, but the town lies on the other side of this wall. You see a man bending over the fountain. He appears to be trying to retrieve something from it. Aha! Got him! Okay, we're in a town, it seems. And this seems to be a nice place, actually. So, since we're in the safety, and... There's people around. There's people living in this place. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm not the only one in the world. Okay. So, I think that will be it for this episode. This is getting long. So, let's leave the wonderful music, tune ourselves to the ending, and end this here for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of this series of King's Quest 2 Redux. Goodbye, for now. Have a good day, and don't let yourself eat in by sharks. Or poisonous water. Yeah. Amazing. Bye, guys.